Welcome in survivors. I am Tactical Lance here with another guide to hopefully help you level up your daisy gameplay and answer some questions you have about the sickness mechanics here in daisy. Today we're talking about our favorite thing, throwing up. Uh, well, I mean salmonella or cholera. There's a couple of difference between these two diseases, but they are more similar than, than different, so I'm going to cover them in one video. Uh, the basic symptoms, again, very similar. Uh, with both diseases, you will be throwing up, you will be losing excess water. Uh, just, just from moving around, I've seen my water drop in the threes, just in, in the little three ticks, just for walking. So you will lose water and food much more quickly just by the just by having the disease, and not to mention the pesky heaves that happen quite frequently. With cholera, your character may run a fever, while with salmonella, you may get the minor pain sounds, and those random screen blur animations where your character sounds like he's getting hurt even though he's not being touched. Great news though, if you can survive the vomiting, the overheating, the water loss, the food drain, or those really annoying random screen blurs that drive me to the point of off in my character. Neither of these diseases are especially fatal. More of a nuisance, more than anything. First, let's talk about how to catch cholera. Cholera, simply put, is a bug you get from drinking dirty water. If you want to put that in uh, you know, street terms, it's what you get when you drink creek water, um, or really truly any of the unsanitized water that spawns in the game through water bottles or canteens. Those have about a 50-50 shot of giving you cholera just by, by drinking them when you find them. Uh, the only safe water in day Z is going to be the water that you're collecting in rain barrels uh, or from the water pumps in a town near you. Similar to cholera, you catch salmonella only a handful of ways. Eating with bloody hands is probably the most common. Uh, you can also catch it from eating raw meat or earthworms. I don't know why you would want to, but it does give you salmonella to eat earthworms. Just like the symptoms of the disease, the cures are remarkably similar as well. Uh, and first off, when it comes to treating these two diseases, I cannot stress the importance of this enough. Finding multivitamins can help stop both of these in their track with the 100% immune system buff that the multivitamins give you for five minutes. With cholera, you want to treat the disease with tetracycline, adding some multivitamins on top of that, and good old-fashioned time. Similarly, salmonella responds best to basically the same thing. Instead of tetracycline, though, you will be using charcoal tablets to cure that disease. Now, one thing, while I was researching this video, I didn't run across exactly what I thought I would for an answer to this, and I'm actually not sure of the answer. So if there's someone that has some, has this written down somewhere uh, from the devs or from someone who's better at researching than I am, I'm not sure if either of these are communicable. According to everything I read, it didn't expressly say that it is, and it did not expressly say that it is not. Uh, I have always treated it as if I am, so whenever one of us, while we're running, about, running around out and about, if we were to catch this, uh, we basically follow cold and flu protocols, so we don't eat or drink after one another, uh, and we socially distance our characters, so to speak. Now, with that being said, uh, I also, anytime that I'm sick, whether it's something that is communicable or not, once I'm over the disease, anything that I've eaten off of, I usually just toss out and get rid of uh, if I've not completely ate that, and I try and sanitize my water bottle or canteen as well uh, if I have the tools available for that. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if you have a better answer to that. Uh, one question that I personally had, uh, whether you know of it somewhere in writing, or whether or not you know you're playing with that one guy who can't seem to stay alive and with his dying breath managed to actually give it to you uh, there is one other thing that i do need to talk about and i cannot stress this enough like literally can not stress this enough when it comes to treating these two symptoms and managing the symptoms uh, whenever your character is throwing up you really need to make sure you're increasing your food and water intake and you can't just, you know, chug that full um, Mad Monk Voss, uh, and, and, and you can't just choke down that entire apple. You've got to take small bites and small sips. So typically what I do is I do about a quarter of the circle at a time. So hold, eat, eat a couple bites, give it a few minutes to sit. Rinse and repeat until you kind of keep your food in that mid, uh, food and water in that mid tier so that your your water bottle or your apple is only hanging out in yellow so that's about the bulk of what i got here let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this or any comments uh, and also if you have the answer to whether or not it can be spread make sure 
that you shoot that down there as well. As always, make sure if you find this content valuable that you like and subscribe. And with that, I am out.